Beautiful. What so you got to say for the camera? Uh, he's out by getting stuff. I'm just waiting for him to come back. No, look closely. Right. Hold up, please. Look. Hold up. I can't hold it higher. Ooh, diamonds. What? <laughs> so many years I can't count. There are a lot of people worried about Wendy Williams, and there's a good reason why. Her attorney shares that Wendy's team abandoned her and left her alone to die. She's also fighting for her basic human rights in the courtroom. On top of it all, the internet believes that this is Wendy's karma. After years of gossiping on her show, some people believe that she's getting what she deserves, but others believe a conspiracy that she was cursed by eating a crow. So let's get into it. So Wendy Williams was left to die, according to her former attorney. So Wendy's attorney's name is LaShawn Thomas, and she's based in Miami. She recently gave a statement to page six and described what Wendy's going through fighting for the rights to her finances. As you guys know, conservatorships and guardianships are a major problem. Britney Spears was just freed out of conservatorship she was in for 13 years. So it looks like Wendy Williams Williams is now in her conservatorship, which is a guardianship in New York. The point of these guardianships and conservatorships are to help these people who are in them get better, but according to this attorney, Wendy was left to die. So once upon a time, Wendy hired a woman named Lori Schiller, and she is a Wells Fargo financial advisor. So of course, Lori is no longer Wendy's financial advisor, but she's the reason why Wendy doesn't have control over her money, and why Wendy's in a guardianship, which we'll break down in a little bit. I need to go through some clips with you guys of Wendy in New York, because that's where she's been and she's been acting very strange and I feel very bad for her. I mean, watch this video clip where these fans come up to her and she's not making any sense at all. Beautiful. So what you got to say for the camera? Uh, he's out by getting stuff. I'm just waiting for him to come back. I don't know if you guys heard, but towards the end of that clip, the fan asked her, are you all right? Because it seemed like she was a little bit disoriented and clearly wasn't making any sense, which you guys know Wendy has health issues. She has Graves disease. She's had issues with addiction before, but something just seems very disconnected in that clip. In this clip, Wendy is with a bodyguard, but it seems like she's struggling to walk. Her legs are affected by the Graves disease and they get pretty swollen which we'll see in a picture in a little bit, but watch how difficult it is for her just to get down the street. Hi. Okay. I'm going to core club immediately. Okay. Yeah. This is a real ring. I wanted it so big that it looks fake. It's not fake. <laughs> not at all. Have a good night. Thank you. By the way, my next destination is Core Club. Okay. Get my money. Correct. Good luck with that. A few things I want to mention about that video. She kept saying that she's going to like court club, core club, court. Like, can you comment below? Because she's claiming that she's going to this place and that she's going to go get her money. Um, I thought she was saying court, but I, I just like, can you guys comment below what you thought you heard there? Also, you may notice that her eyes seemed extremely wide, which is part of having Graves disease. She had it on the Wendy Williams show and she has it here, but it does seem like overall she's not doing well. There's one last TikTok I want to show you guys, and this one doesn't have any sound, but I guess a fan saw Wendy Williams at the grocery store and she was completely alone. She had zero security. So if she's unwell, why is she alone shopping? And I guess she wasn't shopping because she supposedly walked out with the items with the cart without paying and they actually wrote on this TikTok that she was going crazy in the store which they never show any proof of her going crazy they also claim like oh 10,000 likes and I'll show the video of her going crazy so I feel like this like TikTok's a little bit like you know gaslighting but who knows I did see one comment claim that she was wearing the same clothes that she had on the day before when she fell asleep at the Louis Vuitton so if she's on some like I don't know I don't want to say bender because I don't think that she's using, but I feel like she's like 
under some type of treatment. You guys know Britney Spears was forced lithium during her conservatorship, and now Wendy's in a guardianship. Who knows what they're putting her on? It seems like in those previous videos that she was on something when she's just saying random things and slurring her words. I also want to play this clip for you guys because I feel like this clip shows that whoever is working with Wendy right now does not have her best interests in mind because she did this interview like a couple months ago at this point, and she seems to be very unwell inside of it and like I again don't understand which like what type of publicist or what type of manager would allow her to do an interview like this right here look okay please. no look closely right hold up please look. hold up i can't hold it higher huge diamonds Do you see this? <laughs> so many years i can't count will will so <laughs> Wendy. It actually makes me sad to see that clip because she's obviously disoriented and they're just laughing at her like, oh, Wendy, oh, Wendy. And some people believe that Wendy Williams is going through this because she's talked a bunch of crap in her life, which I believe in karma, but I don't think that like, I don't know. I know a lot of you guys are going to think that this is karma, but in my personal opinion, I don't know if it is karma. Maybe it is. And I guess I should take some notes because I don't want to end up like this she's clearly not well and she does need help she needs people who love her and want the best for her but i can't help but to think that maybe this is some type of curse like maybe it's not karma but it's a curse and there is a TikTok going viral right now and it includes a video of wendy williams eating a crow on her show and during this segment it seemed like her eyes went black and her life went downhill from there okay first off why is it the crow not a crow like when she ate the crow and i'm like oh the crow but also i do want you guys to pay close attention and maybe i'll have the editor like zoom in here and look at her eyes they do kind of like go black when she takes a bite of the crow are we not going to talk about how everything went downhill for wendy after she ate the crow Uh, this conspiracy honestly kept me up last night and I was like, I have to talk about Wendy today. Could you guys imagine if the Wendy Williams show like set her up and like cursed her or did some type of satanic thing? I mean, you guys know the Wendy Williams show did not take care of Wendy. I mean, at this point, that's just a fact. Wendy Williams' ex-husband claimed that the producers would not sign off on agreeing to get her help when she was recovering from addiction issues. Kevin Hunter told Page Six that the company that was helping produce the Wendy Williams show did not want to engage in any activity that would take Wendy Williams away from her purple chair. And they would not sign off on anything that would help her recover. They sat in a meeting with her whole family, including her now deceased mom, and would not sign off on the recovery efforts that would have helped Wendy get well and live and be sober. They basically said, if you don't stop drinking, you're going to lose the show. So maybe Wendy is relapsing again and she's dealing with her addiction issues but i cannot go back to this crow like i'm just like i had a dream where like maybe the wendy show like set up wendy with this crow that is cursed because if you guys go and look online it's bad luck to eat a crow crows and ravens are bad omens they're associated with witches most people believe they steal and they eat other birds' eggs to reduce the populations of other birds. When I googled why don't you eat crows, it says that one of the first references to crows, foulness, comes from the Bible. Of the birds, these you shall loathe, they shall not be eaten. And it seems like crows and vultures and hawks and all these kind of go together in the Bible. I did go through and read some quotes about these birds in the Bible, and I found this one I wanted to share and these you shall detest among the birds they shall not be eaten they are detestable the eagle the bearded vulture the black vulture so wendy should not be eating the crow and nobody should be eating the crow which i get that's religion and you've got to like disconnect religion from some things sometimes because there are plenty of countries who they eat tons of crows and they're perfectly fine. Here's a second TikTok where they explained this theory further. Is Wendy cursed after eating a black crow live on TV? I searched chronologically since 2009 for Wendy. Note she ate crow in 2014. 
Williams was inducted into the National Radio Hall of Fame in 2009. 2012, Williams enters a production alliance with producers Suzanne DePasse and Madison Jones to make movies. 2013, Dancing with Stars. 2014, Street on which she grew up renamed Wendy Williams Way. She also produced Ali Film. 2014, Eats Infamous Crow. 2015, Host Documentary Death by Gossip. 2016 anti-trans drama, also snake cheating Kevin Leeds show. 2017 stops wearing high heels sitting more and wearing dad shoes illness getting worse. Also 2017 infamous liberty fainting scene. 2018 has a three week hiatus due to issues with hyperthyroidism and Graves disease. 2019 Kevin Hunter her son arrested. 2019 rehab, random celebrities hosting show. Divorce announced because Kevin has mistress's rap baby. 2020 divorce finalized. Show on hiatus for Coronai. 2021 bizzer Wendy videos show up on social media. They also include that in 2022, the show was canceled after 14 seasons and 2022 Wells Fargo froze her accounts to determine whether her health conditions render her incapacitated. I don't know if Wendy Williams was cursed by a crow. Who the hell knows, but it's an interesting theory, and I definitely need to hear what you guys think in the comments below. Like, I just, like, I want to read those comments and understand where your mind is at when you hear this. But something I can say with my full chest is that Wendy Williams does not need a guardianship, and she agrees. She doesn't want one. Wendy is under this court-ordered guardianship, which she feels like she doesn't need because she is fully capable of managing her money, yet she's been in this guardianship since spring this year so her rights were stripped away it all started because i guess wendy wanted to buy her son kevin jr a condo in miami which ultimately led to her guardianship so um i don't understand why she can't buy her son a condo when she's been working for so long when she's got millions of dollars why would this trigger her ex-financial advisor to go and try to put her in a guardianship. You guys may remember that I brought up Lori Schiller earlier in this video, and this is ultimately the woman who took over Wendy's life and stripped her of her rights. Wendy Williams' attorney claims that Lori's responsibility was to pay all of Wendy's and Kevin Jr.'s bills. Kevin has always reached out to Lori for the payment of bills. If Wendy or Kevin ever needed any money, they would contact Lori and she would hook them up, so it seemed like she was good at doing her job for some time but something happened between kevin jr and lori and that's where i really just want to investigate because something happened some type of disagreement that led to wendy being put into this situation so supposedly wendy wanted to buy this place for her son so wendy actually hired lori to work out the details of the real estate purchase because the advisor allegedly promised wendy that she could help her avoid commission fees a month before kevin jr's lease was up however he got a call from his landlord that said that he never received an offer to purchase and the price had skyrocketed another quarter million dollars so i guess at some point like Kevin has been living in a condo and then ultimately wanted to buy it. Lori was supposed to help this situation and help him figure that out, but she never, I guess, did her job because the landlord never received an offer. So that's one side of this story. There's another source that claims that supposedly Kevin had charged $100,000 to his mom's credit card without authorization and demanded Lori to pay it. The validity of this report is unclear because it came from some anonymous source. But Kevin Jr. denies this. He claims that I deny any of these allegations that I use my mother's American Express card. This is a false narrative to justify freezing her accounts. And honestly, I believe Kevin here. I mean, I, I don't think Wendy is holding back money from her son. Like uh, she was willing to buy him a place. So I don't think that he's over here taking advantage of her financially, but something happened between Lori and Kevin to where she no longer wants to have any contact with him. Their relationship went from like, oh, if you need money, call Lori, to where now Kevin Jr. cannot speak to Lori without Wendy's written authorization. So if Wendy wants to give her son Kevin some money or to authorize a payment, she has to go to a Wells Fargo's branch 
and give written consent to give her son like whatever she would like to give him which it just seems like Lori's trying to make it more difficult for them to live their lives and restrict Wendy financially ultimately Lori just ended up hurting Wendy so if she had issues with Kevin Jr she really just hurt Wendy and took her freedom away from her I mean she was forced to use her Amex for all of her living expenses which screwed with her finances her son has now stepped up to take care of his mother he's only 22 years old and he's got a ton of responsibility and she's now still in a legal battle for her rights wendy was actually seen walking around new york city a couple days ago which i find very convenient because her lawyer came out and said that she wendy williams was left to die and then this story runs and the following day wendy williams is walking around all cheerful and happy like there's no problem here it reminds me of the britney spears situation because we would learn something about britney and then they would try to counteract it by being like you know what britney's okay look at her here or we spot her out and about she's totally fine she's free when she's really not and wendy does look happy here she looks a little bit more i guess conscious and in the moment obviously her legs are a little bit like i guess swollen from the graves disease it's it's like a little bit rough but i mean okay girl i mean she's out about and she's walking fine at least she's out of that wheelchair she was in and honestly i'm glad i did this video today because another thing has happened when it comes to wendy because she's coming out with a podcast if you guys go on instagram you will see there is an instagram page for the wendy experience podcast which they made a bunch of posts like seven weeks ago but now today they literally just made another post they write loading dot 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 and as you can see there's wendy with her microphone all posing for the camera a lot of people are saying you know get better and oh thank god i'm excited to see wendy back again but if she's any like any way like she's like in those clips i showed you if she's like slurring her words and not really making sense then this podcast is going to be a mess i have no idea when this podcast would come out i mean would it be by the end of the year i guess so so you guys know we will be on the lookout for this podcast and hopefully it brings some peace to this situation and wendy williams is ultimately okay and the crow did not curse her but in all reality we need to pay close attention to this courtroom battle because this really is mimicking the free britney movement the um, conservatorship issues and things like that so here's my email if you guys have any other video ideas for me let's go ahead and open this letter i was sent in my p.o box mailbox if you guys ever want to send me anything my address is listed below sloan my name is pierce and i just graduated high school this past year i've been subscribed and watched your videos for like a year now you're such a great youtuber and you made a really positive influence to today's world i feel like watching your videos have also inspired me to be a better person anyways i'm an autograph collector and i was wondering if you could sign this pic for me from pierce oh and I guess I'll just mail it back to wherever this address is on this on this thing <laughs> envelope. Oh, cute! And he sent me a picture, or, or they sent me a picture. I don't know if it's. I guess he. He right, Pierce. Wow, he sent me a picture of myself and asked me to sign it. <gasps> Should I do it? I wish I had a, like a sharpie. I would do it right now on camera. Actually, I know Adam McIntyre, a YouTuber. He sold like a hundred pictures of himself signed. So if you guys ever like, that's something I've always kind of wanted to do, but I don't like only would want to do it if people wanted it. But he like printed and signed pictures and sent them and like sold them i guess and i would do that like if you guys you know obviously not like some crazy expensive but like i think he did ten dollars or something and it was like signed and shipped to your home i would totally do that so comment below and pierce i'll try to get this to you as soon as possible i'm gonna have to like literally put this all to the side and make sure it does not get lost because <laughs> i'm a mess but anyways thank you guys for watching this video and i'll see you guys in a new one soon bye guys